Mm. You need to turn the pan on. Into the pan, you're going to add in some olive oil and a little bit of butter. Now you put butter for taste and you put the olive oil to stop the butter from burning. Just a bit of that. And you literally make the butter melt with the olive oil. And once that's melting, you can start to chop your spring onions. Traditionally, in for chicken liver pate, you don't necessarily add in spring onions. But I feel as a spring onion, just give it that little extra something that it needs. Once you finish chopping your spring onions, you can now add in your chicken livers into the pan. You just want to brown them off just till they get a nice colour on them. Don't worry, chicken livers are always pink, so they will stay pink. Just like that. Just turn the pan down to a little low heat and let it simmer there. Now we can add in some parsley. Just a little sprig, roll it up and then we're going to chop it. Now you can do your garlic, peel the garlic. And whilst that's browning, you're going to just um, leave it on its own, then you're going to flip it once. The reason why I love to make chicken liver pate so much is just because of the taste it has and it goes really, really well with any type of meal. So whether it's rice, whether it's pasta, whether it's bread, garlic bread, any sort of anything it goes well with. Just chop it, just like that. Once that's chopped, we can now turn the pan to a little bit for more of a high heat. We can now just go in there with our spoon, while, since it's now browned. As you can see, you get the beautiful livers, nicely browned, and they should be golden on the side. Just like that. Whilst they're like that, we can now just quickly give your garlic a nice little chop. Just like that. Add in a few sprigs of thyme. Just like that. And we're going to add that in with it. Just let the livers get nicely browned. And now we can add in a little pinch of black pepper. And also a little pinch of salt. So now we're going to add in a splash of brandy. The catch is well done. You're going to cook out the brandy also. It's just going to make a nice gravy kind of stock. Once the brandy's been added in, you can now add in your herbs and your spring onions. Just like that. Literally just cook this down just till everything gets a little wilted until you think that your chicken livers are cooked. You, they don't want to be, you don't want them to be red, but you want them to be slightly pink. I think that mine might need a splash more brandy. I'm just going to add it in. They can really get the smell of it. It smells amazing, honestly. You get this beautiful chicken livers cooked with the alcohol. It's a bit like um, a bourguignon of some sort. However, you cook out the brandy, so all you really get is the taste, but you don't necessarily get the alcohol of it. That is beautiful. Now, actually, you just leave it on its side to cook, gently, and in the meantime, you can just sit back and watch it. And when we blend it with the butter, it's going to, it's going to give off um, a quite pungent smell, OK? But don't worry, chicken livers always do that. If they smell fine before you put them in the blender, then it's fine. 
Once it's beautiful, as you can see, the chicken livers are starting to give us some blood. That means that the chicken livers are starting to cook now. If you see them starting to give off blood, that means that they're just turning pink, which is what you want them to be. Literally, you can just feel them, and if they feel a little bouncy, that means they need about a minute or two. And if they feel them and they're firm, that means they're perfect. I think that mine are a little bouncy, so I just want to get them quite firm. As you can see in the middle, they're red, so you want to cook it out a little bit more. I'm going to turn my pan along to the hose, just like that, make it bubble a little bit quicker. However, I just want to cook out the brandy and make sure the chicken was a nice and pink. Make sure it's nicely reduced. This is kind of what makes you so passionate about food. You know, it's these little things like this. This is a French thing. The French are very well known for adding alcohol and wine and brandy and things to their food. Now, I do think that my chicken livers are probably now cooked. I'm going to add in a little bit of brandy to get a sauce now, okay? Get a little bit liquidized. Once that sauce is bubbling away, I'm done here. Now, literally, in the meantime, let's turn your pan to a low now. That is beautiful. Let it bubble away. It's golden, okay? Right, so now that our chicken livers are done, I'm going to place them into a food processor. Now, I usually have um, some helping hands by an adult. Just like that. Now, once it's done like this, we can now just put the food processor on it and blitz it. Now, you don't need to bother about cooling or anything like that. If we just blitz it straight away, it'll be fine. Now, you really want to blend it, and you don't want to have any lumps in your chicken liver pate. I don't like lump, lumpy chicken liver pate, so I just want to blitz it properly. Now, just like that, once it's done like this, I'm going to add in my butter. Just like that. Now, blitz them together. Now, don't worry about the butter melting. It's going to be fine, because when you put it in a refrigerator to set, it will firm up. If you pulse it, it goes in quicker. Now, as you can see, I'm sure you can tell that when the butter goes in, it's lighter at the bottom, and when the butter was out, it's a bit darker at the top. Now, once it's all well combined, you can now place it into a bowl, just like that. Just get your spoon and just place it into a bowl. Don't worry, it will firm up into the fridge when it's in the fridge. So don't worry if, it, if you think it might look a bit runny. That's good. So now you just want to give this a little mix, and then we can then just put it into our ramekin. Even it out, make sure everything's nice and leveled. And then we can now just put this into the fridge for a while and just until it's firm and set. And then once it's firm and set, we can melt some butter and put a little bit of it on top. And then we can just wait until the butter is nicely melted and we can put it in there. We have just made the chicken liver pate and now we're going to make the garlic bread for beside it. Firstly, you have to get yourself a baguette, a bit like this. And then, just chop diagonally into the bread. Just like that. You want to get a nice diagonal slice, it's a bit like that, okay? Then, you just keep going till you have the amount that you're going to use. Now what you're going to do, is you're going to get your butter and mix it up 
just like that. So try and loosen that up a bit. Just like that. You want it to be a little bit loose. Just try and get it nicely mashed and creamed. Now that we've got it like that, we can now start to add in our seasonings. A G, a bit of salt. This is unsalted butter, by the way. A pinch of black pepper. We're going to chop some garlic and serve it beside it. Just like that. For a nice little mint. You only, I only want to use around about one or two cloves of garlic. These garlic cloves are pretty big, so I only want to use around about two of them chop the garlic up then literally mince it a little bit more once whilst the garlic's being minced with it you're going to chop up some parsley as well okay not a lot of parsley just a bit just like that get nicely and all worked in just like that beautiful in the meantime we're going to get in some time okay Beautiful time, okay? Smells delicious, tastes amazing, especially in garlic bread. Just like that. Add in a little bit of thyme from my height, maybe. Just add it in from there. That is beautiful, okay? Now I'm just going to mix the butter up with the, with the butter, the salt, the black pepper and that time, okay? You know, you don't want the time and it's to overpower. You want it to be equal, okay? Just give it a nice little mix. Once it's nicely mixed like this, we can then move on. Throw in your parsley or garlic that have been nicely mixed together, just like that. For my height a bit, and a dash of it for my height. That's beautiful, okay? But it's golden. Now, let's give that another little mix. And literally to that, just add in a little splash or swig of olive oil. Just a little drizzle, not too much. Just gonna add to the flavour. And that, as I said before, is 100% golden. Literally, that is what you want, okay? You should have a nice herby type butter, like that. Should be thick and creamy. Now that we've done that, we can now start to layer it on the bread. So on your bread, just get your baguette. It's a nice simple recipe as well that you can make any time, I'm sure you can make it any time. Okay? Just like that, even it out nicely. And that is what you want. That's what you're looking for. Now just do this all the way through with your bread. Put nice lots of it on, okay? The more the merrier. I think that's the saying. Just like that. Now literally, now that the butter and everything's been added to it, we can now just prepare it and put it on our baking dish. Right, here's our baking dish. We just place it on, just like that, nice and evenly, so that they all get a chance to bake. You can maybe add in a little bit more. Judging by the butter that you have. That, ladies and gentlemen, is beautiful. Literally just add it in. Make sure it's nice and thick, thick layer. Just like that. 
we're going to put this into the oven for 180 in 180 degrees for around about five to ten minutes right now that our garlic bread is in the oven i think that i'm going to go check on it right now look at that isn't that a beauty i think that it's more than ready right well i've just got the pate from the fridge and it looks preset to me now is the ultimate test all right it's set and it's perfect so for the garlic bread i'm just going to put it on nicely like that and then we're just going to get a spoon and place the chicken liver pate on the garlic bread look at that beautiful pate look at that Place that beautiful pate onto it, just like that. We're going to do it, keep on going in this kind of motion. So it's going to go pate, bread pate, bread pate, a little bit like that, okay? Keep going. Just like that. Just give it a little bit of height and volume. Again, do the exact same thing with the pate. And you're just gonna keep going. And last but not least, the last one. Okay then. Now that we've done that, we can quickly put on um, our pate line. So literally just like that. And to get some of that pate, they can just make a nice little line across it. Just keep bringing that line down. It's a little hard to do, I'm not going to lie. Just till we have it nicely done. Like that. Then, for a garnish, but this is obviously optional, we can add in a little bit of parsley. Just like that. Just a little drizzle. Just like that. In and around the board or the cake. You guys can use whatever you guys want to use. Okay. But there is my chicken liver pate. Done and dusted. <laughs>